And tonight at 6 o'clock, it is an absolutely terrifying scam that's now hitting Central Indiana for the very first time. And tonight, 13 investigates this hoax called virtual kidnapping. Yeah, our senior investigative reporter, Bob Siegel, explains how it works and what you can do if you become the next target. Mark Walker gets calls from his kids all the time. Hey, Rachel. But the call he received last week was very different. I looked down, it's my daughter, so I answered the phone. Person on the other end identified themselves as that, uh, having my daughter tied up, demanded that I listen to them very carefully and that they weren't playing, demanded that I go to Walmart and purchase a, a money gram and send it to him or that he was going to kill my daughter. You panic. He's calling me from her phone. So you're thinking this person's taking her and taking her phone, calling me from her contact list and demanding ransom. Just minutes later, Mark's son got a call. Comes up, my dad, picture of my dad, so I answer. Hello. Immediately the guy's yelling. This time the caller claimed he had kidnapped Mark and he was now calling his son for ransom. He said he had a gun to his head. Um, and not to text anyone, not to call anyone. If I don't do exactly what he says, he's going to shoot him. Eli and Mark were both victims of a scam called virtual kidnapping. It happens when someone is able to steal your phone's contact list or track down lots of information about you and your family through social media or online search tools. Then they use those phone numbers you recognize to do something called spoofing. They trick your caller ID, making it appear the call is coming from someone you know and they use the familiar numbers and names to try and pull off a terrifying hoax. It definitely is scary. It sounds real. The caller made it seem really real because he was just carrying on irate, threatening, using profanities. I don't think people are ready for that type of violent call. The FBI is aware of virtual kidnapping but says this is the first case reported in central Indiana. The perpetrators of this crime they keep getting better and better, and they're using more and more sophisticated techniques um, to make themselves more believable. Special Agent Doug Casper says if you get a call like this one, quickly try to text or call your loved one who's allegedly been kidnapped to see if it's a scam. If you can't reach them, tell the caller you want to speak with the person they've kidnapped. Or ask questions that only your loved one could help answer, like the name of a relative's pet. And perhaps the most important advice... As hard as it might seem, the first thing you need to do is control your emotions. Just buy yourself time and don't give in to demands. That's exactly what Mark and Eli did. Eli texted to make sure his dad was okay. Mark had his wife contact their daughter, who said she was safe. At that point in time, you know, I knew it was a, a scam, so I just uh, hung up on him. Now they want to warn others. I never heard of a scam like that. You're at their mercy in, in a way. You're kind of kidnapped as well. You're not ready for a call like that. It can be impossible to figure out how scammers get your personal information to even try a hoax like this. Often, they're checking for information online, so be careful how much you put on social media. The FBI has more tips on what to do if you get one of these disturbing phone calls and warning signs that it's likely a scam. You can find that information right now at WTHR.com.